Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the most important shortcuts you need to know in Photoshop 2023. If you're new to Photoshop, you should know that virtually everything in Photoshop has a shortcut. And what I want to do in this lesson is teach you the most important shortcuts that you need to know as you start working in Photoshop and also how you can learn Photoshop's as you work. Now, if you want to follow along using the same file that I use in this lesson, I have included a link to it in the description of this video. Go ahead, download that, and then let's dive into Photoshop. So in this lesson, I want to just cover a few shortcuts in addition to the tools shortcuts that we covered last lesson that you are going to be using all the time in Photoshop. So what I want to do is cover them here so that you can practice them before we dive into the course where I might use them pretty quickly and I don't want you to miss them. All right. So the first one I want to cover is the undo. Now I mentioned this already. It is command Z. Now, if you go to window and click on history, you're going to see that you have a full running history of all the commands that you've done since you opened the file. And you can go here in the history and go back all the way to the beginning. If you want to revert all your changes, or you can also step backwards here. And you can see as I'm going, you can see those changes that we made or that I made. And that is a nice little method. If you ever do something wrong in Photoshop, you can always go backwards to a previous point. Now, the shortcut for undoing something is Command Z. So let's take this birds here. Just going to move it down here and then we'll do command Z to put it back. So that's an important shortcut. Now let's say ah, I actually liked it down here. What you can do to redo is do just add shift to your command Z and that'll redo the last thing. So in case you want to go forward instead of backwards, just add shift. So that's the undo. The next shortcuts you really need to know is your navigation shortcuts. So when you hold down the space bar, you're going to see you get the hand tool and that allows you to move your canvas around. And if I hold down command and then, sorry, the space bar and then command, I get my zoom tool. Now, the one thing I will mention is if you're using a Mac, you want to do the space bar before you do the command. So in order to do the zoom, you have to hold both of them down. However, the sequence in which you push them down, you want to do spacebar then command. If you don't and do command and then spacebar, the spotlight search will show up. So that's a little trick there. Just do spacebar first, then command, and that'll give you the zoom tool. Now those two shortcuts, the spacebar and spacebar command, work regardless of which tool you're using in Photoshop. So it's a very important shortcut to know because regardless of what tool you're on, those two shortcuts will always allow you to navigate within your image without changing the tool that you're using. All right, then the other shortcut I want you to know for this, I'm gonna go up here to the top of my layer palette You'll see this little icon. This allows you to add a new blank layer. We'll discuss this further in the next lesson. But for now, just go down here at the very bottom and click on new layer. You're going to see this layer one appear at the very top of your document. And what we're going to do now is just go ahead and make a circular selection. So as I mentioned earlier, the first step in almost anything you do in Photoshop is going to be making a selection. So in this case, I'm going to make a circle here and I'm just clicking and dragging. And then when I let go, you can see I've made my selection. Now here in the contextual taskbar, you can see here I have options for filling in. So I can fill in with a color. I can fill in with a foreground color or background color. Now these are the two most important ones. And there are shortcuts for these that I want you to know. So to fill with the foreground color, which in this case is black, you're going to do option and then delete or alt 
backspace if you're using a PC. So you can see that filled it with black, but if I do option delete, I've also filled it with my foreground color. Let's go ahead and do Command Z for undo. Now I want to fill it with my background color, which is white. So let's do it that way. But I can also do Command and then Backspace or Control Backspace on a PC, and that'll fill with my background color. Now you'll find very often in Photoshop that this is something you want to do. Fill in a selection with either your foreground color or your background color. So very important that you know those shortcut option delete for foreground color command delete for your background color all right let's command z the other one that you should really know is how to drop a selection so here you can see i have a selection but i want to drop this selection meaning i don't want this selection to be active so down here you'll see on your contextual taskbar the deselect however the shortcut for this is command d now, while we're here, I also want to point something else out that's going to really help you learn Photoshop, and that is to always observe these shortcuts on the right whenever you go to an item in the top menu. And then instead of using the menu, so in this case, the shortcut is Command D, rather than using the menu, I'm going to use Command D on my keyboard. And the reason for this is as you work in Photoshop, the more shortcuts you know, the more efficient you're going to be. So every time you're doing something that has a shortcut, try to learn the shortcut. Okay, so that's the deselect. The next thing I want to show you before we close out on shortcuts is just the view all or fit in window. That's another one that you're going to use a lot, and that's command and then zero on your keyboard and that'll just take your canvas and fit it right into your canvas so you can see the whole thing so again that's command zero and those are the important shortcuts that i want you to know before we dive into actual projects in photoshop i can't stress enough the more shortcuts you know the more efficient you'll be so learn your shortcuts. I have also included a link in the description of this video where you can download my Photoshop cheat sheet. So check that out. Also, if you're interested in professional training, go to Nucle.com and check out my brand new Nucle Photoshop Academy. It is a comprehensive all-in-one training solution for Photoshop. It includes masterclass on how to use Photoshop, a compositing masterclass, a photo retouching masterclass, and a color grading masterclass. It also includes follow along project courses that teach you how to create all sorts of really cool composites through the course of which you'll learn various techniques and methods for compositing in Photoshop. And finally, it includes my brand new exclusive Photoshop community where you can connect with other Photoshop artists, do Zoom calls with me one-on-one, -on -one, get your Photoshop questions answered. It also includes challenges and my full complete library of Photoshop assets, which is more than 2,500 overlays, textures, presets, brushes, and so forth, all of which you get access to when you join the Nuclear Academy. So check that out. Otherwise, I will see you next week.